God of War's endgame involves battling eight Valkyries, which are all located in the hidden chambers of Odin dotted around the realms. But you won't be able to even open the doors to the Valkyries until you've got the chisel later on in the game. You'll also want to wait until you're at least level 6 to take them on, because they're seriously aggressive divas with a craving for neck cracking. But they're seriously worth it, because the armour you get is rather impressive, gives you low perk activations to refill your runic attack cooldowns, and even prevents attack interruptions, and basically makes you as badass as a Valkyrie, without the wings. Ugh. There are eight in total to fight and all be marked on your map post-credits. Four are in Midgard, the Mountain, the Foothills, the River Pass and the Wildwoods, and the other four are in the other realms, Muspelheim, Helheim, Alfheim and Niflheim. But finding them is one thing, beating them is another. So here are eight tips of beating all eight Valkyries. One, patience is key. As tempting as it might be to go all in with your blades and your axe every time a Valkyrie comes anywhere near you, doing that is a quick way to death. It's better to bide your time, watch for patterns, and only attack when they're taking a few short seconds to recover. Two, use Atreus for airborne red ring attacks. Every Valkyrie has a nasty habit of flying up into the air and unleashing a devastating light ring attack, or shrouding the whole arena in a thick grey fog. But although it might seem like both of these attacks spell the end of a fight, or at least a great portion of your health bar, you can actually interrupt the attacks using your favourite offspring, Atreus. Hit square whenever they're airborne and he'll bring them down a peg or two, and save you from a devastating attack. Also, don't forget Atreus's runic attack can come in very handy too. 3. Keep your shield up for most attacks. A Valkyrie's power is mostly in her wings, which are tips with dagger-like feathers that will cause serious damage to any unarmed thing in the way, even the God of War himself. But thankfully, not his shield. It's easiest to keep your shield up 99% of the time during a Valkyrie tangle. You'll be protected against spinning wings, feather darts, staff smacks, and other aggressions as long as you're hiding behind that shield. 4. Don't forget your resurrection stones. It goes without saying really, but when you first start fighting the Valkyries, your health can go down incredibly fast if you miss a dodge here or a Valhalla slam there. So before you decide to fight one, make a trip to see Brock or Sindri and nab yourself a resurrection stone. I'd recommend the superior resurrection stone as it gives you a nice burst of health upon resuscitation, whereas the Berserkers is much more risky as it gives you no health but refills your rage. Trust me, you'll value that extra health. 5. Dodge red and gold attacks as much as possible. The majority of a Valkyrie's red and gold attacks, unless they can be stopped by Atreus, will need to be dodged. That's especially true of the flying dive, which will literally smash your face into the ground if you don't. Other attacks like the staff based ones give you a moment of dodge time beforehand, just don't forget to use it. 6. If you hear them scream Valhalla, start rolling. Although you don't really want to be on the receiving end of any Valkyrie attack, there's one that really packs a health draining punch. It involves some neck snapping, some bone crunching and will leave you begging for a health stone. But helpfully, a Valkyrie will scream Valhalla before they pounce, so if you hear that word, dear god you better roll. Valhalla! And most of them will chain a couple of Valhalla slams together, so don't roll just the once. 7. Keep locked on at all times. Valkyries are speedy devils, so cut yourself some slack and make sure you're ready for every incoming attack by hitting R3 to lock onto the enemy. It might seem like a simple trick, but it saved me more than once. 8. Attack as soon as you can. Valkyries are basically just waiting for you in their various chambers, so as soon as they even start opening their wings, hit them with the bigger hitter attacks and steal a chunk of their health before the, um, party even gets started. How to beat the Queen of the Valkyries. Once you've done all of that and finally feel like you've got room to breathe, 
You're presented with one last challenge, beating the Queen of the Valkyries. Thankfully, she doesn't have any attacks that you won't be prepared for. Beating her is just a case of ultimate patience, as she just happens to have all the attacks of her Valkyrie horde combined and about quadruple the health. Good luck and get ready to claim that reward. So that's how to beat all eight Valkyries and the Valkyrie Queen. Let us know if you managed to do it in the comments below. Hit the buttons on the left for more content from us. And don't forget to hit that big button in the middle to subscribe for more news, reviews, previews, guides and more from us here at Games Radar Plus.